<coughs> Master, help! The fork is attacking me! You must be one with the fork. But all the others have achieved harmony with Cutlery Master. Yes, but you are different. Are you saying I'm foolish, Master? Of course I... Uh, I mean, no. But you are young and unwise in the ways of Zen, Chi, Brunch, and Cutlery. You would do well to see the singing spork. What is a spork, Master? It is the mythical offspring of spoon and fork. According to ancient legend, it is the finest implement for eating campfire beans from a can. And the singing spork is more special still. You must go at once to quest for the singing spork, or else you shall never achieve Zen with brunch. But how must I start, Master? It is a complex path that lies ahead of you. Here is a ticket to Sudbury, for that is where the quest for the singing sport begins. Hi, is there something I can help you with? I seek the singing spork, the enchanted offspring of spoon and fork. With it, I shall master the zen of brunch. Okay. Well, hi. Welcome to Sudbury. My name's Nicole. What's yours? They call me Nick. Wow, isn't that a coincidence? My name is Nicole. I'm not sure I can help you find a singing spork. What's a singing spork anyway? Behold, the singing spork. I see. It is made of a magical alloy that does not corrode, does not stain, and has amazing strength. Alloy. It is a combination of many metals that when brought together form a material that has many more uses and many more strengths than the original metals from which it is formed. Maybe we can help you after all. That singing spork of yours is probably made of stainless steel. Nickel is a key ingredient in high-quality stainless steel. I can show you where nickel comes from, but first you need to sign in. Okay, Nick, let's get you some safety gear so you can go down the mine. You can use this changing room. <laughs> Close enough. Just get your boots on your feet. And let's fix this. Safety comes first in mining. This is the hoist, Nick. It takes us down the shaft to the excavation sites, where we find the nickel.
Even with these work lights, you should turn on your helmet lamp. Don't worry, I have excellent tunnel vision. When we're this far underground, safety is very important. It's something we take seriously. I sense the presence of a great many sporks, like a hum in the air. Actually, that's the airflow from the fans that provide a constant flow of fresh air. You can also hear the pumps that manage the groundwater. So not sports? Not yet, anyway. Ah, this is important, Nick. This is the refuge station. If there's ever an emergency, everyone in the mine has to go to the refuge station until help arrives, or until it's safe to come out. It's a safe area in the mine, and Canada is one of the countries to require this. To get the nickel, we need to excavate the ore body by drilling and blasting. Ore body. It is the raw material. It is the mineral. But one must excavate rock around it to get to the body of the ore, for that is the way of efficiency. We know where the ore is, but we have to drill, blast, and move the rock to get to it. Here's a video of the process we can watch. Interesting, but the tools you use are surely no match for the Zen of Spork. The Zen of Spork? Zen of Spork! Let's take you over to an area we blasted the other day and show you the mucking and crushing processes we use in the ore extraction process. Zen of Spork. Those are scoop trams. They manage the mucking process of the operation. You can see what we've done to stabilize the rock face. We have long bolts, bars, and wire nets installed to stabilize the excavation area. Let's ride the cage down another level here, Nick, and see the crushing operation in action. Finding more ore is a big challenge, so we are always exploring for more. It's difficult to guess where it is, so we conduct geophysical and geochemical tests on the ground. We also look for electrical conductivity and magnetic fields. Once I lost a pair of socks and it was a great difficulty to find them again. Only after much searching did I find them still on my feet. Well, much like your socks, sometimes the ore bodies are hiding in plain sight. Those guys over there are with our explorationist team. They're using diamond drills to take core samples of rock to make sure we're on the right track here. All of this is very well, but all I see is rock that you call ore, and, and I am certain sporks are not made of this. Why don't we go back up to the surface and see the next stages of the process? That might help you understand. 
What do you think of the grinding mill, Nick? I have a cousin who owns one of those. He uses it to ponder the benefits of exercise. This is called flotation. It's where we add reagents to the water that brings the unrefined nickel to the top so that we can skim it off and take it forward to the next processing stage, which is called pyrometallurgy. That means we put the fine ore into a furnace to extract the nickel. The important thing, Nick, is that we get the furnace to the right temperature because that means we get the most efficient and thorough process with as little wastage as possible, which is better for the environment because of cleaner emissions. You know, We've won several Industrial Energy Innovator Awards for efficiency and emissions reductions. Did you say something? No, it was merely the wind. We know that we're only borrowing this land from nature, and that in the end, we have to give it back in excellent condition. In fact, we could ask Harold here about environmental issues. Harold's our environmental scientist and a graduate of Laurentian University, right here in Sudbury. Hi Harold, this is Nick. Call me Harry. Harry is actually a PhD. There are tons of PhDs in the mining sector. What brings you to Sudbury? I am on a quest for the mystical singing sporks so that I may be one with brunch. But as yet I have seen no sporks at all. Sporks? I have a spork. Here, check this out. It is the same! It is the same! But does it sing? Actually, it does. This is the latest Nipod spork tool. It has a built-in MP3 player. Eureka! The spork! It sings! Tell me more of the singing spork. My education is not yet complete. You should take a few college or university courses, Nick. Most colleges and universities in Ontario offer mining-related education. Over 400 possible job types await you in mining, such as... Yes, all, all of these and more. You could become one of the 200,000 or so people working in Ontario's mineral industry cluster doing any one of hundreds of types of jobs in the mining industry. Call today. Operators are standing by. Sorry, Harry. What were you going to say? Oh, sure. I was just going to explain that, in fact, we grow some trees underground in Sudbury. It must be dark. We use lights. But as for the nickel, it's a great material, but its real strength lies in what it can do when combined with other metals. When you combine nickel with iron and other alloys, you get stainless steel. Plus, we do a lot of recycling. Old nickel alloys are recycled and reprocessed. So old sporks never die. They merely go to a mystical land where they are reincarnated to spork once again. Hey, let's go round to the main building and see if we can find anything of interest on sporks. I must allow you to go about your spork work, for you have achieved zen with brunch. Okay, sure. It was nice to meet you, Nick. Hey Nick, this might interest you. If you were looking for a singing spork, I think we have one here. But most of this material is not for sale. They say it's priceless. But I am poor and cannot pay you such a king's ransom. Use the force. Do you take plastic? Well, I suppose we can take plastic, but only Bruncher's Club, de force, or the Master's Card. What? Use the force. Well, Nick, it was great to show you around today. I hope you learned a thing or two about nickel. And sporks. Indeed, for it is only thanks to you that I have discovered the mystical singing spork of Sudbury. Master, why did you fly through the air? Have you been practicing levitation again? No, but apparently a signature is not required for delivery. Now, what have you learned? I have learned many things, Master. Then show your worth to one who has wisdom in such things. I don't believe it! But Master, it sings! <laughs> <laughs>